record. There we go. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So vertical angles. Um, first of all, vertical angles are created whenever uh, two lines or two straight lines cross each other. So in this case, um, we've got two sets of vertical angles. Uh, does anybody, okay, no problem, Lana. Does anybody remember what we uh, said? Well, actually, okay. Everybody should know this one. Uh, what are parallel lines? Can anybody tell me? Two lines that are going the same way, way next to each other. Right, so they're two lines that never cross each other. Um, does anybody remember what a transversal is? Okay, I see a few no's. Uh, Y'all should have written it down. Does anybody have the definition written down? Or do I need um, to go back? It's a line that cuts two parallel lines at the same angle. Yes, it, it is. It is a line that cuts two parallel lines at the same angle. So when you have transversals, um, those always result in multiple vertical angles. Uh, today, we're just going to focus on one so I don't have two parallel lines. I just have one of the parallel lines with the transversal. I actually copied this from the other slide. Not really the point, though. Um, so the angles opposite each other are called vertical angles. So this angle here and this angle here. You'll notice that they're vertical. It's kind of cool. Um, a little less cool, this angle here and this angle here are also vertical angles, even though they're horizontal. Um, so vertical angles are sometimes also called opposite, which I'm definitely going to spell wrong. There's a second T. Oh, that, that doesn't look right whatever, close enough. Um, they're sometimes called opposite angles as well. Um, vertical angles are always congruent. So the angle opposite each other, so these two angles, assuming that these are straight lines, which in this case they are, these angles are always congruent. These angles are always congruent. We talked about that a little bit on Monday, um, but I just want to reinforce it. And that means that the measure of one vertical angle equals that of the other. So if this angle right here is 30 degrees, that means that this angle right here is 30 degrees. If this angle here is 150 degrees, that means that this angle here is 150 degrees. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So complementary angles are two angles that add together to form a right angle. So hopefully you all already know that a right angle is a 90 degree angle. Uh, usually it's, or it's often depicted with a little square in that corner. Um, so complementary angles will always add up to 90 degrees, which means if you're given one of the angles, you can find the other one. So for instance, if I give you a right angle and I say that we have two complementary angles, this one is 45 degrees, you should be able to figure out what the second one is. So what is the second angle in this case? Remember that the two angles always have to add up to 90 degrees. Correct, Tate and Emmy and Summer. Yep, it's just 45. Um, so in this case, I made them the same angle. Uh, so yeah, all you have to do to solve it is take the 90, subtract whatever the angle that you know is, and that will give you the second angle or the complementary angle. Okay, any questions about complementary angles? We're gonna, we're gonna look at them in a little bit more detail in a little bit, but okay. And lastly, we've got supplementary angles. Ha 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 ha, do they compliment you? Um, yes, all the time. Um, supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. So basically, uh, it's if you have a straight line like this that has a 180 degree angle attached to it, um, and if you cut that angle with another line coming off of it, that will result in supplementary angles. Um, so like complementary angles, we can calculate the measure of a supplementary angle as long as we have the other one. So we can say 180 minus whatever it is. So let's say I had a supplementary angle that was cut like this, and the measure of this angle was, let's say, 50 degrees. What would be the measure of the other angle? Was 
130. Yep, it would be 130. So we just take the 180, subtract our 50, and we're left with 130 degrees. So really supplementary and complementary angles are really similar. Um, it's just that one of them is a straight line, the other one is a right angle. All right. Any questions about those three things? We're going to look at some uses of them in just a second. Okay. So um, we've got three quick problems here. Uh, these are all word problems, but these shouldn't be too bad. So uh, A says that two angles are complementary. One angle has a measure of 65 degrees. What is the other angle? Um, if you're gonna go straight to the answer, please use private chat and I can check it, um, but everybody else. Uh, if I have complementary angles, what is the total that they add up to? Lulu, that's correct, by the way. Yeah, so complementary angles always add up to 90. I know that one of them has a measure of 65, so all I have to do, subtract 65, and I get my second angle, which is 25 degrees. All right, now I'm not gonna walk you through B and C because um, hopefully you guys can figure them out. It's gonna be kind of similar. C is a little different, but that's okay. Uh, two angles are supplementary. One angle has a measure of 40 degrees. What is the measure of the other angle? Correct, Lulu, correct, Camden. Uh, Nick, that would be if they're complementary, they're supplementary, remember? Tate, that's correct. Maddie, that's correct. Emmy, that's correct. Daniel, that's correct. Oh, Maddie, are you doing C? Okay, then yes, that's good. Good summer, good Nick. Uh, Lulu, you're close, but double check. Oh, wait, Lulu, are you doing C? Oh, uh, then no, you did the adjacent angle. Um, Alyssa, that's good. Tate, you're a little too high. You're close. Cohen, that's good. So if two angles are supplementary, what do they add up to? You guys can just shout it out. Say it out loud. Somebody, please. 180. 180, right. So they add up to 180. Um, we have our one of our angles measures 40 degrees. So we subtract 40, and we're left with 140 degrees for our other angle. All right, now this last one says that two angles are vertical. One of the angles is 30 degrees. What is the other? Nick, that's correct. This one's a little bit trickier, maybe, I guess not. Daniel, that's correct. Aiden, that's correct. I guess, to be honest. So let me go back really quick. Vertical angles. Um, are opposite each other and they are always congruent, which means they have the same measure. So if one of them is 30, what is the other one? That would be the supplementary or the adjacent angle tape. Emmy, that's correct. Camden, that's correct. Um, okay, Case, I will see you tomorrow. Cohen, that's correct. So because these vertical angles are opposite each other and are congruent, if this one is 30 degrees, that means that this one is also 30 degrees. Now I had a couple people saying 150 degrees and that's actually the angle over here. This is called an adjacent angle. Um, so you can see it's, it's adjacent to, it's touching the first angle. Um, and this one is actually supplementary. They form based off this straight line right here with the divider of being this part here, this bottom part doesn't matter. So the fact that they cross doesn't make a difference for the adjacent angle. Um, so you have a 30 degree angle that's supplementary with this other one with the adjacent, um, which makes it 150. So 150 over here as well, because these are vertical. And then if you add all these up, you're gonna get 360 degrees, which as you all know is one full rotation, which is exactly what we have. Okay. Any questions about that?
Um, so the answer here was 30 degrees, by the way. Don't get B. Um, so if two angles are supplementary, that means they form a straight line, this. They, in total, they add up to 180 degrees. So if one of them is 40, that means the other one has to add up to 180 degrees. So you just subtract 40 from 180. It's the same as complementary, but we complementary is if they add up to 90. Supplementary, they add up to 180. So it's always adding up to 180? Uh, for supplementary angles, yes. OK. OK. Now this one, uh, we just want to identify each of these. So I'm going to label them x, y, and z. So one of these is complementary, one of these is supplementary, and one of them is vertical. Um, I want you all to tell me which ones are which. Correct, Maddie, for x. Also correct. Good, Lulu. Correct, Maddie. Good, Tate. Good, Lulu. Correct, Emmy. Good, Lulu. Um, some are yes, except X is, it's not congruent. It's a different word. <laughs> it's written up at the top, Camden. <laughs> but yes, you're correct. Um, Aiden, that's correct. Emmy, that's correct. Nick, that's correct. Uh, Cohen, that is correct. Aiden, that's good. There you go, Summer. Good, Emmy. Um, so just as a thing to notice, uh, complementary in this case is spelled with an E. Um, it's because it means something different than complementary with an I. So Nick made the joke earlier, does it compliment you? Um, complementary angles are not incredibly nice. They're just, they complete each other. Um, let's see, I missed a couple because I was making a bad joke. Uh, any Aiden good, Camden? Yes, those, that's, that's correct. <laughs> the words are all written at the top though, Camden. I don't know. Um, okay, so this one, X forms a right angle, uh, which makes this complementary. Again, with an E, I did not misspell it. That's how it works in the math form. Uh, y is supplementary. And that leaves a Z to be vertical. OK, now we're going to do one more thing before I, I let you guys take off. Um, and this will look a little bit more intimidating than it actually is. So we're going to break it down and walk it through, walk you all through this. Um, this is what your homework assignment is going to look like. So please make sure you're paying attention, because um, this can be very difficult and confusing. This one should be harder than anything you see on the homework. Um, I made it especially difficult but I want you guys to see how we would do this. So we've got a couple questions. Um, I wrote them out by hand because you can't do the little angle symbol in on a keyboard, or at least I don't know how, um, which is really annoying. But anyway, um, so if I can move this, the first one says, which angle is supplementary to angle C, X, D? So what they're asking is, we're looking at this angle here. So C, X, D. We want to find an angle that adds up with this angle to form 180 degrees or a straight line. Now, there's only actually one option here. Um, not quite. So that's not actually an angle, Maddie. That's just the line. Um, so what we have here is we have an angle, and we need to get it to be a straight line. Now, we can't make a straight line with the C. There's no straight line coming down here off of this one. So we have to do it from the D. Straight line goes to here. That means we need to start on this H part. We're going to go back to X, and then we're going to go up to C. So the angle we're looking for is this one right here. 
Now, I'm going to erase all that because it looks terribly confusing. So this is the angle we're talking about. And then the angle we need to supplement it is this one. So the way we would define that is either starting at the C and going to H or starting at the H and going to C, whichever one you want. But in this case, it's going to be angle C, X, H or angle H, X, C. Either one of those works just fine. So um, I want you all to try to see if you can figure out this one. I'll, I'll start labeling it again, um, but I want you guys to kind of see if you can work through this one on your own. So this is which angle is complementary to F, X, G. So we start at F, we go to X, and then we go to G. We need to find an angle that is complementary to that one. Cohen, that works. Actually, that's the only correct answer. Um, I see what you're thinking, Maddie, um, but that one doesn't quite work. And I'll explain why in a little bit. Uh, Emmy, that's correct. Camden, no, that would be supplementary, Camden. Um, Nick, that is correct. Um, Daniel, that's actually just a straight line. Uh, Lou, not quite. Uh, Maddie, there you go. That's the right one. Camden, uh, Camden, that's the whole angle. You need just the part that complements um, FXG. Um, that is a right angle, Lulu, but it's not attached to FXG. Uh, Daniel, that's the whole angle. You want just the one that's complementing it. Uh, Tate, you need the angle, not the measure. B and F are all one line, yeah, but it's not attached to the angle GF, uh, GXF. So here, let's clear, come on, clear. So we're looking at just this angle right here, and we want to figure out what is complementary to it. So complementary angles are almost always adjacent, which means they're almost always right next to each other. Um, so it could be anything over here, or it could be anything over here. Uh, Lulu, that's the whole angle, and that's not quite a right angle. So um, I'm going to actually talk about this one. So there are two things you have to realize on this one. First of all, it might look like the blue line and the yellow line form a right angle, um, but we don't know that for sure. So we can't say that this is a right angle. We do know that the green line and the brown line, the orange line, whatever that color is, um, form a right angle because of this side forms a right angle. These are supplementary. So if this one's 90 degrees, this one also has to be 90 degrees. And actually this one's also 90 degrees and this one's also 90 degrees. So each of these is at a right angle. Um, so we know that this is 90 degrees in total, and the angle we're looking at to start is this one, which means the angle we want to finish it is this one over here. So this angle that goes like this, and that is H, X, G. So this one would be H, X, G. Now, this is definitely something that's going to take some extra practice. Um, the assignment for today is actually a two-day assignment. So we're going to have today to work on it. You're going to have tomorrow to work on it. There's going to be nothing new as far as assignments go tomorrow. Um, but there's also some material we haven't quite gotten to yet that will be on it. Um, and I'll explain that in just a second. But first, 
I want to ask what angle is a vertical angle to this one, um, DXE. So vertical to DXE. Uh, correct, Nick. Uh, Emmy, that's adjacent. Close, Maddie, but not quite. Good, Emmy. Good, Cohen. Uh, that's adjacent, Tate. Uh, Lulu, that's close, but not quite. Um, Camden, that's correct. Lulu, the one you did was vertical to this. Uh, there you go, Tate. That's adjacent, Maddie. Um, that's good, Lulu. Okay. So the angle we're looking for here um, is opposite this one. Now you have to be really careful when you're doing this because um, you might think it's going to be this one over here or this one down here. Um, but it is this angle right here, which is AXH or HXA. So the answer to this one was angle A, X, H. Okay, so I know that's a little bit complicated. If you wanna stick around and get some extra help, feel free to do so. Um, the assignment for today is either the math-based task, complementary and supplementary angles, or IXL 014 and 015. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is a two-day assignment. We're gonna have time tomorrow. We're gonna to cover a little bit more of the stuff tomorrow. Um, so if you get stuck or if you're at a point where you've been working on it for a while, don't bother, keep doing it. Um, you can take a break and we'll have plenty of time tomorrow. So don't spend too much time on it tonight because there might've been some stuff we haven't covered yet. But otherwise, uh, have a good rest of your day guys and I will see you tomorrow.